Hi, it's Kernel Text here with some videos about automating Linux from scratch. So the idea for these videos came about through some comments from um, a viewer called DeGraver, um, who suggested I looked at ALFS and I said, well, I have had a look in the past and um, it was quite basic at the time, which was many, many, many years ago. Um, and I've not really paid much attention to it since then. I have looked in the last few years because of doing these videos, um, obviously testing the LFS project by hand uh, is quite involved. So I just devised my own little tool that scrapes the manual and creates um, a couple of uh, shell scripts just flat files shell scripts that automate all the commands and that's what I've been using um, but he suggested I looked at it again look at it again and when I did well yeah I just saw that the last update was sometime in 2017 but he, he insisted no take another look it's been updated within the last couple of weeks or so so I gave it a bit more digging around and sure enough I found that yes it's still active um, but it's only in uh, a development state. So there's very little information on the website. Some of the information is hard to get to as well. There's um, no direct links as such. Um, I'm not sh quite sure why this is. I'm sure if it was, it was um, easier to access, there'd perhaps be more interest in the project and I may even get more um, people involved. That, um, it could become a bit more active. But anyway, um, yeah, so what I thought I'd do is uh, I'd have a look at it, I went through it. It's quite straightforward, actually, for something that's very complicated and it's been evolving over, the, I think, the last 17 years. I think the first um, check into the repository was 17 years ago. Um, and you can see that, that time that a lot of work's gone into scripting it and automating the procedures. Um, certainly a lot more than I could ever done uh, with my own one and uh, to be quite honest my own one compares with probably the first revision or two of what's been done with ALFS. Um, one thing worth mentioning is that the original ALFS project um, got taken over by a fork from somebody called Jeremy Huntwork um, and that project was called JH ALFS um, and when I say taken over I mean taken over in that it got further advanced for what I can ascertain than the um, parent ALFS project such that JHALFS is the project that ALFS has become. So it's a little bit confusing because as you can see on the website, um, the Linux from Scratch website is still referred to as ALFS, but almost everywhere else you'll see it referred to as JHALFS as it says there. Um, that that is the version or the uh, fork if you like that's being used as the official automation project um, so on the, on the home page if you go to linuxfromscratch.org you can click on the LFS link or you can go directly to linuxfromscratch.org forward slash ALFS it will bring you to this page and it gives you some uh, very basic information there about it um, tells you that it extracts the XML sources that are used to create the manual um, and a bit more information about that. It tells you the instruction to get it from the Git repository. This is another thing that uh, put me off. I couldn't find really anything on the internet. I don't use Git so I couldn't uh, quickly download the project to look at it and I was looking for um, a Git browser page where I could like browse the files before I actually did anything and I couldn't find anything and searches just came up with github um, and that that is where I found that the last check-in date was 2017 on, on that repository but as the graver pointed out the hosting Linux was crash are hosting the project themselves and which yeah that had passed me but it's obvious when you read the URL carefully that the repository for JHALFS is indeed um, hosted on the Linux from scratch um, website or host name. 
Um, so there's a bit of history there about it and who maintains the project and so on. Um, so the news page will give you some out of date information of the last release. Uh, so I didn't even realize there are stable releases. Um, as I say, I, I first looked at this maybe 10, 15 years ago um, when, you know, well before there's any stable releases. And in the meantime, I've not had any, well, I had a period where I wasn't doing LFS and also I've had not so much interest until coming to do these videos. I've uh, obviously got more interest in it. Um, so that's kind of misleading as well. It'd be nice if that was updated. Uh, in fact, the links don't work. If you click on them, um, the top link will take you uh, to a 404 page, I think. And even the bottom link, it, it, in fact, if I show you if I open that, yeah, it's a 404 for the, the tarball. This link goes somewhere, but again, it's slightly out of date. It says that the current version will, um, or oh, sorry, maybe that version there, that 2.4 version will build 11.1. But obviously we're on 11.3 now, so it's kind of out of date as well. Um, I can't imagine 11.1 was would have been envisaged back in 2017 anyway. So maybe that has been updated, but not recently, that, that table. Um, download, yeah, it's very basic. Again, that URL for downloading via Git um, is replicated here. Um, perhaps more importantly, there's the requirements for running JHLFS. Um, I think they need to create a new title for this. It's quite, quite a mouthful to say. I don't know if they've got another short short form, shorthand form of uh, saying JHLFS, but um, if, if you hear me call, call it ALFS, it's probably because I'm uh, trying to say it without getting my teeth in a twist. Um, so yeah, you need Git obviously to download the repository. So that's one package. Um, and as it says in each of these uh, sentences, all of these are available in BLFS. So if, if you've already built a, a basic LFS system, then these are obviously the minimum packages that you'll need to build, possibly with other dependencies, um, but they're all in the BLFS book. So you need the libxslt library um, and any of its dependencies, and then these two libraries as well: the docbooks XML, docbook XML DTD, and the XSL style sheets. And finally, you'll also need um, wget to obviously download the packages, which the scripts can do as well for you. Oh, and of course, sudo is needed as well because you'll do everything as a um, unprivileged user. Um, and it will use sudo to do root stuff, stuff as the super user where needed. Um, so I'll go over that when I uh, come to that bit of it. Um, documentation. Yeah, there's just the readme read file to read, which is what you'll get when you... Um, all right, okay, it's trying to download that. It's not viewing it in the browser. Um, but you can see that when you've downloaded uh, the project from the repository. And... Uh, that looks like just the generic. Yeah, we've gone off the LFS part of the website now, but the looks of it. So if I click back on there to go back to the what is, um, I'll go back to download because I'll be using this URL in a short while. Um, so basically, the ALFS stroke JH ALFS project is currently permanently in development. There's um, no stable releases at the moment that are available or. or certainly easily available. Um, I did manage to track down, if you pardon the pun, a browser for the repository. It's on this uh, track system that uh, the Linux from Scratch team use. Um, so basically, if you go to wiki.linuxfromscratch.org forward slash ALFS forward slash browser, um, you'll get this uh, web browser page, which is what I was basically looking for initially. And you can see a lot of the stuff's quite out of date, but it is being updated. And in fact, you can see that something was updated just two days ago. So even since the comments that the Graver put on the uh, on my channel about this, um, where I think he said that it had been updated on 23rd of February, it's it's again just been updated two days ago, which would be about the 8th of March. So, um, yeah, you can see there are people dabbling around with it. So, 
Um, it is certainly up to date, but it's obviously not supported in any way um, to be a stable um, piece of software. Um, so yeah, you can go to version. I mean, there's the 2.4 version. So if you did want that specific stable version, you could pick it out. Although bear in mind, the manual changes it has changed recently in about, was it 2019, 2020, where they went to the cross compilation. So I doubt very much if this version from 2017 um, would work particularly well with that. It may do, but um, it's quite unlikely. I would imagine you'd have to ensure that the version of JHL ALFS is compatible with the version of LFS that you're running. Um, but yeah, there's old versions there. You, you, you'd be able to see um, you know, different versions and so on by uh, using this page. So the current version the latest release is obviously at the trunk. Uh, 